here's three ways to convert your clients into a community. I think the best thing, the thing I'm most proud of in my coaching business is that we don't just have clients, we've got a, a real tribe, a real sense of team. I wanna give you three things. Uh, the first thing, the value of a community comes down to who you don't allow into it. That's really the core value. It's who's in because of who's out. That's one thing that's gonna bring people together. So be careful and thoughtful about what kind of people you, you let in, not just like, are they in my demographic and can I help? But do I wanna hang out with these people or are they dicks? Number two, vulnerability creates community. How do you build vulnerability? Well, you ask for it and you lead with it. And one of the things we ask with our high-end clients is in the last 30 days, I want you to tell us the top 5% highlight of your last month and the bottom 5% low light and you share first. When people share their top 5% and the bottom 5%, the, the middle is beige, nobody cares about the beige, but what bonds people is celebrating highlights and connecting with low lights. And then the third thing, We've got a core belief in, in how we run Black Belt that none of us is as smart as all of us. So when somebody asks a question, I'm not the guy who answers all the questions. I'm the guy who takes the question and goes, okay, I've got some thoughts about this, but what have you got? And when everybody shares, everybody gets to feel like they're part of this, they're helping each other win, and they're part of the success when it happens. So there's three tips for building a client community.